Hi guys, my name is Rafael Lechner from Techflare and in this video I would like to walk you through the design process of creating this small little landing page starting with a fictional initial briefing, thinking about the target audience and then moving on to low fidelity wireframes using pen and paper and afterwards we will jump into the UI software Figma and we will create the actual design itself. So stay tuned and I hope you will enjoy it. All right, so we will start this design process by coming up with a fictional briefing. And of course we could come up with something on our own, but there is actually a quite useful tool that I can recommend to you and that is featured on Product Hunt as well. It's called goodbrief.io. And if you go to that page here, um, you can actually enter a category or type of work, like a website for example, and then you can select a specific industry. For now we will just select random here and um, once you did that you can click on generate and a good brief will create a custom briefing for you that you can use in order to create your fictional product. And I think using a fictional client for this video makes more sense because uh, this way uh, there are no copyright issues and uh, we still have the limitations that come with a project. Because if you start off from scratch doing your personal product or website without any restrictions, it's very um, easy to get lost. The more restricted you are, the more you have to get creative to make it work. I just created um, a fictional briefing here now and the company name for this video is called Enkido and what Enkido does is it offers a variety of tropical destinations so it's some sort of travel agency and our target audience is married couples. And what the briefing also states is that Enkido wants to convey a sense of faithfulness while at the same time um, yeah, well, well at the same time being realistic and uh, we have to create a website that will mainly spread brand awareness. So before we actually create the wireframe itself, I would usually always um, summarize the briefing for myself. For this video we will create a very simple minimalistic landing page and we won't invest too much time into research and wireframing um, in general, but I think it still makes sense to do that. So I will now open my note application. These times I prefer to use Google Docs because it's very convenient to collaborate with others. But in the past I was also using Notion or Evernote a lot. So it doesn't really matter which tool you use I would say. And I will take a look here at the screenshot itself again and we'll quickly note down the main facts. So the company is called Enkido which sounds like a Japanese name, I would say, maybe. And uh, the company description, it's basically a travel agency for tropical um, destinations. They have a variety of goods for their guests due to their staff in every location. So we could note down local staff, highly qualified, qualified staff, we can add a point called brand attributes. They want to convey a sense of faithfulness. They want to have some sort of down to earth attitude. And uh, later on they state that they also would like to achieve some sort of luxurious design. They state that they would like to spread brand awareness mainly so that's their main goal. Then they state that they want to maximize their conversions. And some specific landing pages are mentioned. They would like to have an information page, a product page and a privacy policy page. For this video I think we will mainly focus on the start page on the, on the micro site. Creating a range of uh, pages would maybe be a bit too much for the length of this video. Brand colors. Um, the uh, main brand color is blue. 
And for the secondary or accent colors, uh, we're free to choose some ourselves. So we will do that. And we should take into account the client's preferences and values. And of course, we always do that. So that's basically the description of the brand. Since the main goal is to spread brand awareness, one of the major goals of this design should be the creation of the brand. And while we will definitely not do an extensive brand workshop or something like that, we will still have to come up with some simple elements that create some sort of feeling that the brand actually exists and that gives it some distinctive character. And I think we will do that in the early ideation phase, maybe a little bit in the wireframe, but mostly in the actual visual design. We will try out different elements, different colors, maybe some different topography and we'll try to find the right visual appearance for the brand's character. We will start off by sketching the most prominent section of the whole landing page, the header image. As basis for the header image, I would like to use a theme image that incorporates a married couple so that our target audience feels like they are directly being addressed. And of course, we also need some sort of call to action to motivate users to interact with our company. This interaction could either lead them to additional information or directly bring them to a checkout process in which they could book the next holiday package. Since the briefing stated that the landing page is all about brand awareness, I definitely want to highlight the brand's name in the header image together with some brand elements. For the next section, I thought about adding a slider element that showcases the travel agency's most popular destinations. In terms of visual design, I would like it to be very image heavy here, without too much typography going on. Functionality wise, this slider could include a pagination and arrow elements, and clicking on one of the slider elements will lead the user to a separate detail landing page, including all of the destination's specific details. I named the third section Types of Holidays and the idea for this section is that the travel agency categorizes their different destinations based on categories such as activity, package or adventure holiday. The user can hover over one of these categories and the visual appearance of the section changes accordingly. By clicking on one of the categories, the user will open a category page that showcases all destinations that offer this specific type of holiday. The fourth section advertises tour packages. Tour packages are basically predefined trips with several destinations included. My idea was to use a bold theme image for each tour package and teaser several destination pictures on top of it. The user can also click on a call to action here to view additional interesting tour packages. Since the briefing stated that the landing page is all about brand awareness, this section is purely about establishing the values of the brand in a playful way. I thought the brand could use circular elements on the left to convey the values through images and next to the circular elements on the right side, I thought about highlighting the core values in big, bold typography and adding some running text about the company's actual origins. The next section is a social media slider that gathers content from various social media platforms such as Instagram or Twitter in one single slider. Some of the elements in the slider can be purely visual while others can be purely text-based. So there are many different types of entry posts. The content of the slider could be gathered through a tagging mechanism in the background. Up next is a straightforward newsletter signup, which you might know from various industry websites. The purpose of this section is to increase newsletter signups and offer interested clients and customers the opportunity to get informed on a regular basis. And we conclude the landing page with a footer. The footer usually contains an overview sitemap, so quick links to the most important pages of the website. 
It makes sense to also include a quick company description, the logo, the imprint, all necessary policies and also links to the social media platforms of the organization. This video is part of a six part video series on creating a landing page from scratch. So in case you haven't already, be sure to check out the other parts of the series as well. Thanks a lot for watching this video.